Hello survivors and welcome to today's video. So we're on Xbox official servers and we are playing on Valguero Arc Survival Evolved and we thought we'd showcase our newest base to you. So the Dino Lord has built this in a bit of a different style to what he usually builds actually. Now usually our most recent ones are tech actually but this one he's wanted to come over to Valguero and play with me and he's decided to build like a castle fort type thing and I love it, I really love it, so I thought we'd show it to you guys. And if you go on to enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe if you're not already. We've got loads of arc on here. So let's take a look around this base. We've got the battlements there. And we've put some cannons and plant species X on them. We've got the flags out the front for our victories. And um, yeah, the plant species X needs to be there, because if you've watched our Valguero Let's Play, it's a dangerous area. And uh, yeah, we need them. So he's built like these double sloped wood roofs here and we may have a video coming out soon on how to actually do those in that way. So if you're interested, stay tuned. And uh, coming past the first tower, we've got a covered bridge, which he wanted to look slightly like the one on Hogwarts. And I've decorated it with um, citronel plants going all the way across. And then coming past the second tower, We've got the stables, which he's done the same roof on there, the double wood roof slopes. So I love that. I love how he's managed to do that. It just makes it look so much more effective. And then we'll come through the front here. We've got alpha heads decorating the whole place as well, because they always sort of give off quite a, a grand vibe, don't they? Right, let's come through the dino gateway and down to the pond. I think we'll go up onto the battlements first actually, so we can have a little look at these cannons. So these are just for decoration, obviously we play PvE, we would not be able to get away with a build like this on PvP, we would get obliterated. We've got the same on the other side, plant species X and some cannons, and then we head up the top here. We've got the area looking out over the front, so we've got those uh, slits that they would have used in medieval days to shoot arrows through at anybody coming. And then a nice view of the pond on the bottom. So we've built a couple, well, I say we, it is the Dino Lord who has done the building, I've done the decorating mainly. So we've got just like some cages, pots and storage boxes just lining the grounds just to, to make it a bit prettier. And then the first small building here, we wanted to make it look a bit cosy. So it's like a little cosy house, a cosy shack just outside the castle. And we've I've tried to do the canvas thing, okay, so I took a picture in-game on the in-game camera and then I made every single type of die and I was going to put it onto a canvas because I remember years and years ago we had loads of these on the island and they were lovely. We had pictures of ourselves with all like our friends from the server. So I wanted to do a similar thing here. So I took some pictures of some plants first to see if it would work. And as you've seen, it came out in like brown and white, unfortunately, and it did crash my game. So I've only done a couple of those around because I couldn't be bothered waiting for all the crashes. Which is a shame. I don't know why it stopped working, but... Well, these are our Viking canoes, by the way, but um, they do have pirate names. So one of them is the Jolly Roger and the other is the Black Pearl. So we have named them pirate boat names because we don't know any Viking boat names. Uh, there's the dung beetle producing loads of fertiliser. The compost bins are just for show because the dung beetles are so much better. And then at the outhouse here, um, he had left a nice little space there for me to put something in, so I just wanted to put something a bit decorative. And this is the public toilet. So we've got a working toilet, we've got a sink and a mirror. And then I have tried to do the canvas thing again, but as you can see it's come out sort of uh, black and white, brown and white. But I still think it looks better than what I could have drawn with a paintbrush on there. Oh, excuse me. So we've got some fish baskets just decorating the pond. Uh, a couple more compost bins and another dung beetle in there on wonder making more fertilizer so we've got the trough under here and also the beehive because it's a little bit safer under there we do get attacks quite often you'll log in and you just you just hear the aggro music as soon as you log in like oh what's going on now but the plant species x seems to be doing the trick at the moment but it's such a nice view of the pond we were lucky really lucky to get this location to be honest with you so if we come up here We'll head into the stables. So a couple more plants here. 
and then we've got our unicorns in their stables and then we've got our farming dinos so we use those quite often so we leave them out of the cryopods to just leave them out there so I love our unicorns we traded for these on server there's a lot of trades going on on this server it is such a good server really fun and then Meg Megatherium because we love them I'd like to have one of them sitting about if we can and then up here is the Fiomia station so what I've done I've planted some stimberries uh, put this one on the table and one on the ground next to it there as well so that we can feed it stimberries, get it to poop, and then pop that into the dung beetle. And there's a fireplace to keep everyone warm on those cold nights. And then over here we have... Oh, that's Fiona, by the way. She's our guard dog. We have the crafting area. So we have all our main crafting stations here. And we have got a nice decorative bench and plants at the back. And then we've got some plant species um, Y and Z in the back, just for decoration, really. And these are two free vaults which we bring stuff over from our Gen 2 missions and sort of extinction drops and we put them in those and we just open them for the server in case anybody, in case we've got anything that anybody needs because otherwise we just end up hoarding it and there's no need to be hoarding stuff when someone could be making use of it, you know. So through here we've got the kitchen area, so we've got the cooking pot, we've got the grill, we've got a few fridges and beer barrels and a nice seating area and a fireplace obviously we do love fireplaces and then this weird thing that i decided to make the dino lord was laughing at me at first when i made that because it looked so strange and then we've got like um, a chopping area to chop up the vegetables and flowers so i've used the metal wall signs as chopping boards and the way you get in oh sorry there's a dead ceranid on there that'll be this plant species they keep taking out things that are not aggressive so this would be the, the other side entrance. And then we've got the preserving bin with the seeds in, just a few fridges, one with meat and veg, and then another one with sort of med brews and, um, what's it called, jerky. We've been making a bit of jerky. And then we've got eggs and kibble and flowers and stuff in this one, and our own food. So that is the kitchen area. Now let's go and take a look into one of these towers. So we've got two towers. We've got one on the right there, and then we've got this one here. So let's head into this one first. So we've got a welcome bench there. So I've used trophy wall mounts as like the um, the backing of the benches. And we've got two armories there. And then we've got some um, mating sonomacropses down here. So we've got a male and two females on each side of the trough. And uh, there's an extra one there because Dan's just left his down here with them. And then out here, this door just leads down to the crafting area again and out to the plants. Let's close that. And then we can head upstairs. So we have our cryo fridges down here as well. So we only have a few of them. And we'll add more if we need to. So let's head up the spiral staircase to where the transmitter is. This is our waiting platform, so when you're waiting to travel. So I've used gravestones as the backing for that bench there. So we've got some plants. We've got a fridge with refreshments for while you're waiting for travel. You know, where you're waiting for transfer timers and stuff. Uh, here we are, look, travel refreshments. We've got a couple of maps, so you can see where you're going. And then uh, more benches, more plants. I just wanted to make it like a bit like, um, I don't know, like a little waiting reception area, I guess. We've got a table there with some chairs. And now, okay, so before we go upstairs, I just need to let you know, Dan came over to play with us. We didn't know he was going to come and play. And he said, is there a spare bed? Okay, so... The Dino Lord said to him, there is, there is a bed, it's above the transmitter room, but it's a bit weird. This room, we're called the Abyss Watchers, and this will be where the Abyss Watcher part comes in. This is our tribe name. So these will be the Abyss Watchers. So it's like some sort of weird cult. They've boarded up the windows, they've all they've got is cages and bookshelves, and they're like worshipping this artifact here. They've got a drum kit as well, obviously. And there you can see, look, Dan sleeping on his own up here. This is the only spare bed that we had. <laughs> and uh, like I said, we did not think that he was going to come and play with us. So when he did, and then we forgot, we didn't put an extra bed, and he said, is there an extra bed? I was like, oh no, oh no. So he's had to come up and sleep here with uh, with this lot. But yeah, they've all got gas masks on, they're all dressed in black, and uh, they're a bit odd. I've drawn a skull over there on that canvas as well, by the way, that is my uh, my artwork that you can see there damn straight. So yeah, that is the, possibly the, the weirdest room that we have in, in this building, like, you know. 
wasn't sure whether to show you guys that, but <laughs> it's done now. And then across here is the covered bridge with all the citronol plants, and you can get to the bedroom this way. The main bedroom, that is. So let's come across here. There is a spiral staircase from the bottom in the other tower, just the same as the one in this tower as well. Lovely view there of the pond and the front of the building. Right, let's go... let me think. Shall we go through? No, let's go back and go the proper way. We'll come through the station. Uh, past the Sonoma Cropses. I love that colour Sonoma Crops, that's why we've got them out, so we can breed them whenever we need to. And let's head to the other tower. In we go. So we've got some quite high-level Denonicuses. We traded for one on this server, and so we've got uh, we managed to breed to get uh, a male of the same stats as the female. So we've got three of them that are always dropping eggs there, so we can raise them if we want an army of them. And again, this just leads out onto the crafting area, onto the plants, the plant species Y and Z. Got our incubator. There's some event wyvern eggs in there, and a couple of giga eggs, and then up the spiral stairs. We come to the bedroom. Uh, you may have seen a build video for this bed and the bathroom. So this is the room where they are and I've just added some like a table and some benches, a fireplace and some bookshelves, a couple bits of extra decoration, another canvas that went wrong and there's the covered bridge that we were coming across earlier. And the Dino Lord has got a bulb dog in here as well. He went down to the ab zone and decided that he'd like to get himself a pet to keep in the bedroom. So we've got the Alpha Rex head above the bed, the Dino Lord's there having a kip. And we'll come into the bathroom. Uh, you may have seen we have a bathroom build video for this one as well on the channel, if you want to check that out and see how we did this. You've got the toilet, the shower and bath, the double sink. And that is our ensuite bedroom. So yeah, well Dan's there in the attic with that creepy lot. We're here with this. <laughs> it feels a bit bad. If I'd have known he was coming over, I'd have done something different. I'd have done something nice for him. And up here is just the brewery room. So we've got the corn up here and the carrots. Because carrots aren't as pretty, so I don't like to put them down as decorative. And the corn isn't really either. So I like to have that in like the brewery room where it looks like sure, if you're using the wheat to make beer and stuff, you know. And this is the last room of the build, guys. So that is our our little medieval style building that the Dino Lord has made and then I've done most of the decorating around. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you liked the build. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. We've got loads of arc on here and we have so much more to come as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day and enjoy the rest of your Easter event. Take care.